Hi guys, welcome to Catch Up Plus on F4 Report TV where we bring you entertainment gossip. Take a look into the world of sports and tech. I'm your girl, Love Evitian. Let's take a look at some of the trending stories. In his next first story, Nollywood actor Kalu Akiegu has taken his estranged wife Ijoma Eze to court for abandoning their matrimonial home. Now, according to Nan, on the cross examination uh, by the Correspondence Council, uh, Kalu said his wife packed her things out of his house and sent him an email that she was on her way to her father's house in Enugu. He also revealed how his estranged wife denied him sex and also poured water on him while he was asleep. Now, the judge adjourned uh, the case until June 23 for a continuation uh, of the year. And we'll keep you posted right here on a Forever Vote. Nigerian choreographer Kafayat Shefu, popularly known as Kafi, has revealed how her former husband, Joseph Ame, slept, did not just sleep uh, with other women during their marriage, but also slept with her best friend. Shocking. However, Joseph Ame in the post acknowledged his mistake. Uh, but denied sleeping uh, with Kafi's uh, best friend or being violent uh, towards her, contrary to the narratives uh, that are being spread online. In some rather sad news, a candlelight procession was held in honor of the popular TikToker Oscar Brown, who was allegedly poisoned by her bestie, who is yet to be identified. <laughs> This next one is rather interesting. When you hear the word love, you think of the sun, the stars, and moon, and a connection you can't explain. But what happens when a relationship goes bad? There's a viral video online of a girl who destroyed her boyfriend's 600,000 Naira laptop. Take a look. <laughs> Now, now, six hundred k. Now, if person damage like this, all in the name of relationship, all in the name of relationship. Girlfriend, girlfriend. If I tell my guy, say use your head, guy, leave this game. Do not go Six hundred k. Now, if person, guys. What? Six hundred k. Moving on, reality TV star Chloe has something to say on correctly pronouncing foreign fashion brand. I'm so sorry. No disrespect. First of all, I would not tell. A French guy or a Spanish guy to pronounce Busayo well. Whichever way you call me, my instinct is gonna tell me you wanna call my name and that one side you. But I will go to your city or your country and you want me to pronounce Creston. Because what? Are you? I had this argument with someone. It's dumb though, very dumb guy. When you, say, when you go to Rome, uh, like Roma. No! When you come to Nigeria, do I choke our words into your mouth? Usually when Kanye West comes up on the news, it's always for something controversial, uh, filled with a lot of drama. But this time he is saying that he hasn't touched cash in four years. What you want me to do? I ain't gonna lie, I ain't touched cash in like four years. Okay. <laughs> I can cash in real well. Right, right, right. What do you want me to do? I'm not that good. Health experts with the World Health Organization, WHO, have experienced explained uh, that the risk factors that are associated uh, with monkeypox as the virus is now continues to spread uh, globally. Now, this is coming after WHO received reports of 257 confirmed monkeypox cases uh, and about 120 suspected cases in 23 nations were recorded. Now, the United Kingdom then topped the infection lock with 106 cases, followed by the Portugal and Canada with 49 and 26 cases. Cases respectively. Now, in the United States, uh, the Centers for Disease Control 
and prevention has reported 12 cases in eight states. In five African countries, the WHO said it has received reports of 1,365 cases and 69 deaths due to the virus. Uh, the United States Embassy has also stated that the recent outbreak of monkeypox in Nigeria has no link to North American country. An information specialist uh, at the Public Affairs uh, section of the U.S. Uh, Consulate General Timmy Tyre said that a statement was released uh, in reaction to claims that the United States government uh, has been using some sort of laboratories under the control to spread uh, monkeypox disease in Nigeria. All right, guys, that's it for the entertainment segment. Now let's take a look at what's happening in the world of technology. In our first uh, story, Dyson is moving beyond vacuum cleaners and hand dryers and will try to develop robots uh, capable of helping with household chores. Interesting, right? Now the company has announced plans to create a major robotics uh, center at its uh, facility at uh, um, Halloween at Halloween Air field in wet shell that will work on all types of domestic robots. The site will be home for 250 robotic engineers. Um, in some other tech news, a Twitter in the U.S. must pay $150 million fine after law enforcement officials accused it of illegally using uh, users' data to help uh, sell targeted arts. Now, the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, and the Department of Justice say Twitter uh, violated an agreement it had with the regulators. Uh, Twitter, who had vowed not to give uh, personal uh, information like phone numbers and email addresses, addresses to advertisers uh, did broke this rule. Interestingly, Twitter was fined 400,000 pounds in December of 2024, breaking Europe's uh, uh, GDPR data privacy rules. I wonder what this is going to do to Elon Musk, who just recently became uh, the highest stakeholder on Twitter. Moving on, campaigners say that the avatar of a 21-year-old researcher was sexually assaulted in Meta, um, Meta's virtual reality platform, Horror and worlds now corporate accountability group as some of us for whom the researchers worked says it shows a matter needs a better plans to mitigate hands uh, in the metaverse now matters uh, annual stakeholders meeting uh, is taking place tomorrow and the company told BBC uh, there were safety tools in the horizon world to help people uh, have a positive experience being turned away from a 15 to 18 rated film for not having the right identification with you might soon be a thing of the past. Now, the United Kingdom Cinema Association, which includes a cinema world audience, showcase cinemas and view are partnering with digital IG, uh, um, ID form um, Yachty. Now, the free app will accept as proof of age, providing a safe and convenient way to show ID. Uh, and it is hoped that the move would tackle abuse against cinema stuff too. So Yodi Harness is the same technology you see at the airport where you can scan your passport and capture an image of your face in order to use the Yodi ID. Uh, children will need to have a smartphone where they can download uh, the free version of the app, adding their details from their passport and a current photograph. And the digital ID card will then show an age verified image, which the cinema staff can then access. All right, guys, that's it for this edition of Catch Up on our Forever with TV. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and follow us on all our social media platforms right there on the screen. And also remember to tune in to our parent company, Vibes Radio. That's 94.5 FM. I'm your girl, La Thank you for watching Catch Up Plus on our Forever with TV. Thank you.